Barry Julian Eichengreen born 1952, is an American economist who holds the title of George C. Pardee and Helen N. Pardee Professor of Economics and Political Science at the University of California, Berkeley, where he has taught since 1987. Eichengreen currently serves as a research associate at the National Bureau of Economic Research and as a research fellow at the Center for Economic Policy Research. Eichengreen's mother is Lucille Eichengreen, a Holocaust survivor and author. Career Eichengreen has done research and published widely on the history and current operation of the international monetary and financial system. He received his B.A. from UC Santa Cruz in 1974. An M.A. in Economics, an M.Phil. in Economics, an M.A. in History, and a Ph.D. in Economics from Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. He was a senior policy advisor to the International Monetary Fund in 1997 and 1998, although he has since been critical of the IMF. In 1997, he served as a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Research His best-known work is the book Golden Fetters, The Gold Standard and the Great Depression, 1919–1939, Oxford University Press, 1992. In his own book on the Great Depression, Ben Bernanke summarized Eichengreen's thesis as follows T. He proximate cause of the World Depression was a structurally flawed and poorly managed international gold standard. For a variety of reasons, including among others a desire of the Federal Reserve to curb the U.S. stock market boom, monetary policy in several major countries turned contractionary in the late 1920s—a contraction that was transmitted worldwide by the gold standard. What was initially a mild deflationary process began to snowball when the banking and currency crises of 1931 instigated an international scramble for gold sterilization of gold inflows by surplus countries the USA and France substitution of gold for foreign exchange reserves and runs on commercial banks all led to increases in the gold backing of money and consequently to sharp unintended declines in national money supplies Monetary contractions in turn were strongly associated with falling prices output and employment Effective international cooperation could in principle have permitted a worldwide monetary expansion despite gold standard constraints, but disputes over World War I reparations and war debts, and the insularity and inexperience of the Federal Reserve, among other factors, prevented this outcome. As a result, individual countries were able to escape the deflationary vortex only by unilaterally abandoning the gold standard and re-establishing domestic monetary stability, a process that dragged on in a halting and uncoordinated manner until France and the other gold bloc countries finally left gold in 1936. The main evidence Eichengreen adduces in support of this view is the fact that countries that abandoned the gold standard earlier saw their economies recover more quickly. His recent books include Global Imbalances and the Lessons of Bretton Woods, MIT Press, September 2006, The European Economy Since 1945, Coordinated Capitalism and Beyond, Princeton University Press 2007, and Exorbitant Privilege, The Rise and Fall of the Dollar and the Future of the International Monetary System, Oxford University Press, 2011 website, his most recent book is Hall of Mirrors, The Great Depression, The Great Recession, Oxford University Press, December 2014. His most cited paper is Bayumi and Eichengreen, Shocking Aspects of European Monetary Unification, 
1993, which argued that the European Union was less suitable as a single currency area than the United States. This diagnosis was confirmed in 2011 when external shocks caused the Eurozone crisis. He has been president of the Economic History Association 2010-2011. In addition to this, he is a non-resident senior fellow at the Center for International Governance Innovation and a regular contributor to Project Syndicate since 2003. Topic publications Elusive Stability, Essays in the History of International Finance 1919–1939. Cambridge University Press, 1990 ISBN 0-521-36538-4 Golden Fetters, The Gold Standard and the Great Depression, 1919–1939. Oxford University Press, 1992, ISBN 0-19-510113-8 International Monetary Arrangements for the 21st Century. Brookings Institution Press, 1994, ISBN 0-8157-2276-1 Reconstructing Europe's Trade and Payments, the European Payments Union. University of Michigan Press, 1994, ISBN 0-472-10528-0 Globalizing Capital, A History of the International Monetary System. Princeton University Press, 1996, ISBN 0-691-02880-X, 2. Auflage EBD. 2008, ISBN 0-691-13937-7 Vom Gold Standard zum Euro. Die Geschichte des internationalen Waringsystems. Wagenbach, Berlin 2000, ISBN 3-8031-3603-2 European Monetary Unification, Theory, Practice, Analysis. The MIT Press, 1997 ISBN 0-262-05054-4 with José de Gregorio, Takatoshi Ito and Charles Whiplosh, an independent and accountable IMF. Center for Economic Policy Research, 1999, ISBN 1-898128-45-6 Toward a New International Financial Architecture, a Practical Post-Asia Agenda. Institute for International Economics, 1999, ISBN 0-88132-270-9 Financial Crises and What to Do About Them, Oxford University Press, 2002, ISBN 0-19-925743-4 with Eric Bagloff, Gerard Rowland, Guido Tabellini and Charles Whiplosh, Built to Last, A Political Architecture for Europe. CEPR, 2003, ISBN 1-898128-64-2 Capital Flows and Crises. The MIT Press, 2004, ISBN 0-262-55059-8 Global Imbalances and the Lessons of Bretton Woods. The MIT Press, 2006, ISBN 0-262-05084-6 The European Economy Since 1945, Coordinated Capitalism and Beyond. Princeton University Press, 2008, ISBN 0-691-13848-6 Exorbitant Privilege, Oxford University Press, New York 2010 ISBN 978-0-19-975378-9 From Miracle to Maturity, The Growth of the Korean Economy, Harvard University Asia Center 2012, ISBN 978-0674066755 Hall of Mirrors, The Great Depression, The Great Recession, and the Uses and Misuses of History, Oxford University Press, New York 2015 ISBN 978-0-19-939200-1